Hey, it's your old pal Lucid Stew again, and we are back looking at the concept of removing urban freeways in order to create better urban spaces. We started in Miami, but since then we've started working down the list of most populated U.S. metros. Here in the fourth video in this series, we'll look at Chicago, Illinois. The key feature of Chicago is its 26 miles of shoreline on Lake Michigan, and a key feature of that is Lakeshore Drive. That is a 16 mile long, occasionally expressway like, occasionally freeway like thoroughfare that runs through downtown and several lakefront parks. For this video, our target for removal is the southern portion of Lakeshore Drive from Interstate 55 to Jackson Park, which was the former site of the famous 1893 World's Exposition and is the future site of the Barack Obama Presidential Center. Chicago is the third largest metro in the U.S. with a population of 9.6 million. The city itself is home to 2.7 million people, also the country's third largest. Swinging through Chicago, we will pass over the Metro Electric right-of-way. This is an electrified rail corridor that runs from downtown Chicago south past most of the roadway we'll be removing. In this video, we explore three of many possible options for using the land currently occupied by Lakeshore Drive. Number one will be natural with more forests, meadows, and other green spaces. Number two will be geared more toward facilities for sports and recreation. And the last option will include development where road and transit access is appropriate. Starting in the Bronzeville area on the north end of Burnham Park, the adjacent areas are already set for major real estate development. Here I have a lakefront forest or even more development. The interchange at the 31st Street Harbor and Beach provides room for large facilities like soccer fields. Access to the park from the west is limited to a singular pedestrian bridge here. Without further improvement, options would be limited to expansion of natural areas and some small sports facilities at the Ped Bridge. At Oakwood, I have options for a museum and more sports fields, forested areas, or large-scale residential towers. Between Oakwood and 47th, this would be mostly forested area with some small sports facilities at two pedestrian bridges possible. At 47th Street, I have a new beach at Morgan Point and a new parking area. There's room here for two more baseball fields or residential apartment blocks. At Monaghan Point, more lakefront development, which would be adjacent to existing development, seems appropriate. There are three Metro Electric stations in this area to support removal of the roadway and new development. In terms of rerouting traffic, I-90 runs adjacent two miles to the west. Adjacent neighborhoods have several through-running north-south roads. The Metro Electric line is directly park-adjacent most of the way, and CTA's Green Line Metro is about a mile to the west. There is also the option of retaining half the roadway and converting it to bus rapid transit or something like that. Burnham Park at 598 acres was created in 1920, and this southern portion of Lakeshore Drive opened in the late 20s, so both have been around for about 100 years. The park thins here, access is limited, and so are options. However, some limited development at Promontory Point also seems possible. At 56th Street, we leave Burnham Park and enter Jackson Park. Here, basketball courts adjacent to the 57th Street Beach seem appropriate, and newly forested areas enclose the beach nicely. At the 59th Street Harbor, limited access indicates that forested or open space is most appropriate. Thanks to two beaches in the area, beach expansion is not necessary. As we reach the end of Lakeshore Drive, there is one more opportunity for lakefront development at Hayes Drive and the 63rd Street Beach. So what do you think of these options? Should Chicago free this part of its lakefront from roads in favor of forested green space, sports and recreation development, or maybe for lakefront residential? Or maybe it should just remain the way it is. Let me know what you think in the comments. Plenty more videos to come in this series. Up next is the number four metro, and that means Dallas-Fort Worth. Lots of ripe and juicy targets there. If you'd like to see a short portion of freeway removed where you live, let me know, and maybe you'll see it happen. But that's all for now. Until next time, I'll see you on that big, beautiful freeway. Freeway.